Hello Kickstarters, my name is Randy Wood, creator and consulting producer of the hit television series, Putting on the Hits. We're here in Seattle, as you can see, where it all got started at a club at the underground, right downtown Seattle here. The show aired from 1984 to 1988 and featured contestants competing by lip syncing the lyrics to a hit recording, creating the illusion they are that artist performing in concert. Putting on the Hits was very popular across America. It gave those that could not sing the chance to be a star and possibly be discovered. Putting on the Hits was so popular it was the first number one syndicated music variety show in history and was nominated twice for the Daytime Emmy Awards. Pretty impressive for a lip syncing show, wouldn't you say? Now for all you too young to remember Putting on the Hits, let's take a look at a promotional spot that aired for the show. Hi there, I'm Alan Fawcett, host of Putting on the Hits. It's the show where contestants lip sing along to their favorite songs. And this is your invitation to join us for all the fun and excitement and competition on the hottest music show around. See great performances and hear the latest music. So don't miss putting on the hits, because it's the show that makes you the star you've always wanted to be. Putting on the hits, yeah! As you can see, our lip syncing contestants are pretty creative with their performances, but the show looks a bit cheesy and is definitely outdated. Now in today's era of singing talent shows, we believe it's time to bring back putting on the hits with a new name and a fresh new look for a new generation and we call it America's Lip Sync Star. But to get the show back on TV, we need a pilot. That's where Kickstarter comes in. The new show will still feature lip syncing lookalikes competing for cash prizes, but will now include tribute bands, contestant interviews, online and text voting, and of course, high-tech stage lighting and graphics. I've teamed up with Thunderball Films and Tribute to Productions to produce the pilot. We've invested a lot of time, money, and effort finding the right crew and equipment, updating the show's format, and designing a new set. So with everything in place, we're ready to go. We're asking for $60,000 to shoot the pilot in mid-October. Our plan is to take the pilot back to the networks and, if necessary, to the NAPTI convention next January in Miami to sell the series. So our mission is clear. We're taking a very successful show and producing a new pilot with a fresh new look for today's television viewers. Your pledge is essential to getting this great show back on television. We know there are millions of Putting on the Hits fans all across America, so please help us reach as many of these folks as you can. Pledge what you can, there are a lot of great rewards. For example, if you love the entertainment business, your pledge gets you an exclusive America's Lip Sync Star license to hold show auditions in your town. So please post our Kickstarter link to your Facebook page, tweet about it, blog about it, Email it, even spread the word the old-fashioned way. Phone a friend and families. The more people who pledge, the better the chances of getting the show back on television. Wouldn't it be great to say that you are a part of bringing back a hit television show? Remember, if we don't reach our goal, the whole deal is off and everybody will be sad. Below this video is information how to pledge and support our project, also who's behind it, and the history of how it all got started. Please take the time to read it. Thank you so much for checking out our Kickstarter video. Now enjoy a video, one of my favorite lip sync performances, taped at a club in Atlanta. Here are the Blues Brothers. Thanks again for your support. Now, we'll view a lip sync video by Jack Fury and Sam Anid. Jake, looks like this is it. Are you ready? I was born ready. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> 